On the western slope of the Colorado Rockies is a fertile valley of vineyards, pastures, and orchards where America's pioneering biocontrol insect program began more than 70 years ago. Back in the 1930s and 40s, there was a peach pest known as Oriental fruit moth that entered the valley and devastated the peach crop. Um, they couldn't find a way to control it until they happened upon biological control, which is a, a parasitic wasp that attacks oriental fruit moth. They set up this facility to raise those parasitic wasps and then to distribute them to the peach farmers. And they got oriental fruit moth under control within about two years. Today, the Colorado Department of Agriculture's insectary is researching, raising, and releasing little bugs on a big scale with significant implications for farming. There are other facilities around the country. Uh, there's one in Idaho, um, and there's one in New Jersey, but we're, we're the largest and most long-running facility. Relying on biocontrol insects isn't a quick fix because it involves a worldwide search for the perfect pest predators followed by years of painstaking scientific research. In order to bring them under control, we go to the countries of origin where they were originally found and locate their natural enemies. And those are our friends, the biocontrol agents. So success means releasing bugs that are hungry for real agricultural threats, like field bindweed, a vine that will overrun anything in its path, except for some mighty mites. Uh, it'll climb up on machinery, fences, it'll climb up on crops, um, it'll climb up on almost anything. It's a, a climbing vine. We have a mite which attacks it and causes the, the vining to be greatly reduced. When it hits, the leaves curl up and form a little safe area for the mites called a gall. After a few years of, of galling, uh, the field bindweed plant will eventually die. It's one example of why so many beneficial beetles and weevils, wasps and moths are flying out of the insectary through its Request a Bug program that serves Colorado farmers and ranchers and attracts national attention. So we can't answer all of the requests from around the country, um, but we do try to get agents out beyond the borders and we try to do it through, um, through extension agents, USDA and such. What we'd like to see is all states have an established, established populations of these biocontrol agents that they can distribute within their state. For Harvest Public Media from Palisade, Colorado, I'm Dan Garrison.